Good evening. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernator evening headlines on April 25, 2022. Biden nominates new ambassador as U.S. plans to return diplomats to Ukraine, live. The Guardian, Bridget Brink is Biden's nominee for U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. The Washington Post, Biden names veteran career diplomat Brink as U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. Reuters, Biden picks career diplomat Michael Ratney as envoy to Saudi Arabia. Germany's SPD calls on Gerhard Schroeder to quit party over Russia links. The Guardian, don't ban Russian energy, Gerhard Schroeder tells Germany as he defends Vladimir Putin. The Telegraph, top German Social Democrats want Gerhard Schroeder out of party. Politico Europe, ex-Chancellor Schroeder asked to leave Germany's ruling party over Putin's stance. Bloomberg, Gerhard Schroeder defends lucrative work for Russian energy giants. Tourist crashes drone into Rome monument in latest mishap. Evidence some Ukrainian women raped before being killed, say doctors. U.S. climate activist dies after setting himself on fire outside Supreme Court. The Guardian, climate activist Wynne Allen Bruce dies after setting himself on fire outside U.S. Supreme Court on Earth Day. Sky News, Wynne Bruce, climate activist dies after setting fire to himself outside Supreme Court. Evening Standard, activist dies after setting himself on fire outside U.S. Supreme Court in climate protest. The Telegraph, climate activist dies after setting himself on fire outside of U.S. Supreme Court. Kane Tanaka, world's oldest person dies in Japan aged 119. The Independent, world's oldest person dies in Japan. ITV News, world's oldest person dies at 119 and reveals the key to living a long life. The Telegraph, world's oldest person Kane Tanaka dies aged 119. Liverpool Echo, world's oldest person Kane Tanaka dies at the age of 119 Derbyshire Live. Large fires break out at Russian oil depots. The Guardian, Ukraine war, Russia hits train stations and fuel facilities in attacks deep in Ukraine, after US Secretary of State meets Zelensky. Sky News, Ukraine takes war behind enemy lines as Russian fuel depots set ablaze. The Telegraph, Russia bombs five railway stations in central and western Ukraine. The Guardian, huge fire at Russian oil depot and army base amid suspected strike by Ukraine. COVID-19, fears of lockdown in Beijing prompt panic buying as mass testing introduced. Sky News, Beijing kicks off mass testing after spike in COVID cases. BBC, Beijing districts placed under lockdown as cases mount. The Independent, COVID lockdown fears spark panic buying in Beijing as largest district begins mass testing. The Guardian, panic buying in Beijing as fears grow of an imminent COVID lockdown. You can't imagine the conditions, accounts emerge of Russian detention camps. Germany pledges quick decision on first heavy arms delivery to Ukraine. Reuters, Swiss rebuff German requests to send tank ammunition to Ukraine. Bloomberg, Swiss veto German request to re-export ammunition to Ukraine, Sontag Zeitung reports. Reuters, the observer view on Germany's response to the war in Ukraine. The Guardian, German government faces crisis as opposition aims to force weapons to Ukraine vote. Putin claims FSB foiled Western plot to kill pro-Kremlin journalist. The Guardian, Ukraine war, Putin accuses West of plot to destroy Russia, and says Secret Service foiled attempt to kill journalist. Sky News, Putin accuses West of terror, tells prosecutors to be tough. Ukraine war, Zelensky says filthy scum who killed mother and baby daughter in Odessa missile attack will be punished. Sky News, Odessa missile attack, my world was destroyed by a Russian missile. BBC, everything was dark, residents rescued after Russian airstrike on Odessa homes. Guardian News, my world is destroyed, says father who lost three-month-old baby and his wife in Odessa airstrike. The Independent, three generations of family killed in Russian missile strike, BBC News. Russia failing in its war aims in Ukraine, Antony Blinken says after Kyiv visit. The Independent, Russia failing in its war aims, Antony Blinken says after Ukraine visit, BBC News. BBC News, US to return diplomats to Ukraine and seeks a weakened Russia. 
Financial Times, Russia is failing in its war aims says US Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Guardian News, in Kyiv, Blinken and Austin announce aid, diplomatic surge. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.